Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video for the grade 12. We're going to be doing this time the, uh, we're going to start with the lessons on electric current for grade 12. It's one of the topics in term three. And then the first thing we're going to be doing is revising some important concepts done in grade 10 and 11. So we're going to focus on electric current. We are going to look at potential difference and we are also going to look at resistance. This is going to be briefly, and it is only recalling what we've done in previous grades. For this one, we are going to be also using this table, which is taken from the exams. So in the exams, you will have a table like this with the uh, subtitle, if I will say that is called electric circuit. So when you're doing this work, you're looking for this table and that table will help you with a lot of things that you are going to see just now. So we're going to start guys with the first important definition, which is current. Remember current is the rate of flow of charge. And you need to remember that the word rate means dividing by time. This one is dividing by time. Time. So we have here that is the rate of flow of charge. So in other words, this formula can be written as I, I equal to charge divided by time. Now, guys, this one here is the definition for electric current in which I represent and is the symbol for electric current. And you should remember that the unit is the ampere. Ampere is the unit for current and the symbol for ampere is letter capital A. All right, so this is important things to know there. Q stands for a charge. It is work done before and the unit of charge is the coulomb is the coulomb. The coulomb, which the symbol is capital C. This one is the unit for electric charge. And then the time is also work done previously. This one is time. And then the unit is the second. I'm not going to write the word second. The symbol for second is S. This one is the definition of electric current and here we have the formula for electric current, important. All right, now this division here, it is called rate of flow of electric charge. So if I highlight rate of flow of electric charge, this side here means just charge divided by time. That is the meaning of rate of flow of electric charge. Now, if we go to the formulas here, we don't have that definition in that way. But if you notice this formula that we have at this specific point here, guys, is not other thing than that electric current. If we have and we rearrange this formula, we have that electric current is going to be equal to charge. The symbol they use for charge could be either capital Q or small q. It doesn't really matter. And then if you have a pen with you and a note, which you should have when you're watching the videos, this one is the definition of electric current. Electric current. This one here is the definition for electric current. It is quite important. The only problem is the formula is not exactly in the same way as to find it in the exams. But note that one is the definition of electric current. Now, if we go on speaking about electric current, the instrument needed to measure the electric current is the ammeter. Here, you can see on the left side the symbol for ammeter or the, an example of an ammeter in actual fact. But remember, the symbol for the ammeter is going to be an A with a circle and then two lines. This one is the symbol for ammeter and is very important because you have to do it all the time. Now, important, the ammeter is always, is always connected in series, always in series. 
always in series. You cannot connect their meeting other way but in series. Now, why is that so? Because the Amita has very low resistance, which we are going to be speaking later on um, about that. Amitas have very low resistance. That is the reason why we connect them in series. Now, in series means that the electric current will have only one path for that to flow, for the charge to flow. It means if, for instance, you have a battery, let's say a battery of one cell, I'm not going to work too much and I'm going to um, connect, for instance, a light bulb that everyone knows the symbol. You've been working with light bulbs now for long and we want to measure the current of this um, electric circuit. Here is what we are going to um, install or place the ammeter. I'm going to take it from here and I'm going to place it there. You place it in series. It means there is only going to be one path for the electric current. In this case, the electric current flow from the positive terminal of the battery, which you should remember is the long point and the small one is the negative and the electric current is going to be from positive to negative in this a direction the all the way and you can see here it have only one path for the electric current that is why that um, ammeter is connected in series here guys this one is more or less everything you've done about electric current in gray 10 and gray 11. let's go to the next concept which is potential difference now potential difference is the work done per unit charge to move a positive charge from one point to another between two points of a conductor now here work done per unit charge how do we translate that only that work done per unit charge is w divided by charge and this one is going to be the potential difference, guys. And potential difference, the symbol for potential difference is going to be, we also call sometimes voltage. This one is the potential difference. So that is the first thing I want you to have in mind. The symbol for potential difference is the capital V and then um, the unit is volt. And the symbol for volt is capital V. So be careful, don't you confuse. This one is the unit. The unit is the volt. Be careful, don't you confuse the unit with the symbol of potential difference. Now W here stands for work. It is not a new concept for you. This one is work or energy work or energy the unit of work or energy is the joules the unit is going to be the joules and the symbol is capital j that is the symbol for work and q guys is charge and is the same as in electric current you can see it there right on top i'm not i don't want to now um, repeat i just going to write charge now what i want you to note is that it doesn't matter the symbol charge it can be small q or could also be capital q that one doesn't make any difference here all right now this one is the definition about potential difference and now if we go to the formula guys to the table of the formulas that you are going to have in the exams you see that that formula it is not in that way there however the formula will be in this specific way as you can see here this one is the formula for potential difference so if you rearrange this one you get that P, uh, sorry, V is equal to W divided by charge, which is the definition of potential difference. I'm going to write it here. Potential difference. Be careful with that one there. And this one, guys, is the definition of potential difference. It's also given to you in the exam, but it is not in the same way as the formula should be. 
However, if you remember that this formula is the definition of potential difference, you can quickly go to the formulas that are going to be given to you and rearrange in terms of the potential difference and you'll get the definition. Okay, so we carry on about potential difference and we're going to be speaking about the instrument. The instrument used to measure the potential difference is the voltmeter. There is the voltmeter that is the instrument used to measure and remember the symbol for the voltmeter is a V in a circle with two lines. This is the instrument or symbol for the voltmeter there guys. And this is the picture of one a voltmeter. And then important, this is always connected in parallel. It's always connected in parallel because it has a very high resistance as, as we said we'll speak about the resistance later on it has a very high resistance that is the reason why we connect it in parallel now when you do the connections in parallel be careful because we are not working with mathematics this is science this is physics so it does have nothing to do with the um, two lines parallel that never cross. That is mathematics. Here, it means that the terminal points of that specific instrument are the same for the instrument as well as for the other um, part of the circuit. For instance, if we have here a light bulb, let's say two light bulbs in this case, and we want to measure the potential difference of one of those light bulbs, we connect a, a voltmeter now that voltmeter must be connected in parallel all right in other words that voltmeter here will be connected in such a way that this terminal of the voltmeter is connected to this terminal of the bulb of the light bulb and this other terminal is connected there so this is how we connect a uh, voltmeters in parallel to any of the different uh, part of the circuit or components of the circuit, but we are going to practice nothing to worry about. And the last concept we are going to be doing in this short video is going to be the resistance. Now, resistance is the opposition to the flow of electric current. And we have here two examples. One of them is a conducting wire that does not have resistance, uh, or let's say it does have, but it's extremely low resistance. And then there is on top is a resistor. You can see that the green dot represents the electric or the charge flowing through the conductor. And then as there is particles, you can see the, the gray big circle. This gray big circle represents the particles inside the, uh, the conductor, in this case is a resistor and you can see there is difficult for the charge to move past through that specific uh, part of the um, resistor because there is many particles and obvious those charges that are moving through are bouncing and bumping all those particles inside and therefore that is what we call resistance now it can also be defined as the ratio of potential difference over the end of the conductor and the current through the conductor in other words v divided by i this one here is for resistance this is the symbol for resistance This is the, the symbol for resistance. The unit is the ohm. And the symbol for ohm is letta omega. is a Greek letter that is related to resistance. V, you know, is potential difference. And I'm not going to write the unit in word because you know it is volt. We just spoke about that. And the I is current. This one represents the uh, current. The current and the unit is the um, meter. So this is more or less the definition of resistance. It is a formula and that one it is given to you here. Later on, we're going to be learning a little bit more about that formula. Just trying to change the color. Here is the definition of resistance that is given to you. This one is resistance. This one is resistance. Okay. So guys, here is the three concepts we're going to learn. We still have to speak a little bit more about resistance, but don't leave. We almost done here. Now the resistance of a component is established by the material. So 
obvious. Different materials will have different way in which the particles inside are um, rearranged or arranged, and then obvious it will get a higher or lower resistance. But also, resistance will depend on um, the thickness of the conductor. The thicker the conductor is, the more space for the charge to flow, and therefore the lower the resistance. The length of the conductor, if it's a longer conductor, then that will come with more particles, more bouncing of the charge inside the particles of the resistor, and the resistance will increase. And finally, the temperature. Remember, if you increase the temperatures or, or the temperature of any substance, the particles will start moving, and then the electric current or electric charge will struggle to flow. And then to finish this part, the resistor, the symbol for a resistor is a small um, right angle with two lines. This one is a resistance or resistor with certain um, resistance. This one is a resistor. And then just to find out, there is also all symbols that can be found I saw it very little these days, but sometimes in all books, if you study, you can see that this one is also the symbol for resistor or resistor, but this one is the one we are going to use more. The symbol is R for resistor, as we learned, and that one is the one up. Resistors can be connected either in series or in parallel. For example, if you have some resistors connected in series, it means there is only one pathway for the current to flow. For instance, these three resistors are connected in series. It doesn't matter the arrangement, but you can see that the current have only um, one path to pass through that circuit or that part of the circuit. The electric current only has one path, which is in this case like uh, this. For instance, we're going to go into details in, in, in connections in series and parallel, but not just today. And then the connection in parallel, let me just change this color real fast. The connections in parallel, now remember, it is not met. Is parallel because the current can now spread. It will have two pathways. For instance, let's say one example should you understand this current is going there. Here will be one resistor there, and then here is going to be placing another resistor in this way. And I hope you are following me to see what I'm saying there. This connection is a little bit tricky because you have connections in parallel and in series. At this specific point, you can see that the current divide in two parts, which are not necessarily the same. But that means that this connection is the starting of a parallel circuit because the current is dividing in two parts. We are not talking about mathematics, uh, Two parallel lines. But in this specific point, this resistor here and the other one are in series because there is only one path for the current to flow at that point from this place here. And at this point, the current are going all of it together and meet again there to follow its path. This one is an example of electric current in a parallel and also in series. Okay, so I hope you understand. This is the end of this a short video about some concepts you need to start the grade 12 topic for internal resistance and so on. Next video, we are just going to be practicing uh, the, or, or see how these three concepts behave in resistors that are connected in series as well as in resistor connected in but thank you for watching, subscribe for the channel, thumb up, I'll see you next time, Mr. G here.